Okay, um, I'm just going to walk you through how to do the calibration um, of the IP radical using a stage micrometer um, in order to take cell measurements or, or measure other things under the microscope. Um, this really accompany, accompanies a worksheet that I would have given you in class, um, so it's probably best if you do this um, uh, with the worksheet in front of you. Um, if you need another copy, come see me. Okay, let's get straight into it. So, firstly, um, when you look through a microscope in the eyepiece, um, which we've pictured this little black thing here, um, you'll see a small scale, and you can use that scale to measure cells, but first you need to calibrate it. And the reason for that is that that scale is just an arbitrary scale, essentially. Um, it doesn't really have any value associated with it. And, and you can see that when you look at something under the microscope, under low, medium, or high power um, magnification, if you, were you, if you were going to measure it, you'd get three different distances um, or three different sizes. When, in, in matter of fact, what you're looking at hasn't actually changed in size. We've just, um, it just appears bigger because of the magnification. So first we need to, we, we need to calibrate the eyepiece under a certain magnification um, and establish what one unit on the eyepiece actually is worth in terms of a physical distance. So let's get straight into it. Um, now we uh, use that using one of these, a stage micrometer. Uh, a stage micrometer is essentially just a little ruler. So this is basically what we're doing is we're looking down the microscope and we're going to put a ruler underneath the microscope. And when we look at the ruler, if say our one unit on the eyepiece um, graticule, the little scale in the eyepiece, is equivalent to one millimeter on the ruler, well whether we put it on low, medium or high power, it doesn't matter because even though the millimeter is going to look bigger, it's still going to be one. It's still going to read as one millimeter. So basically, we're putting a ruler under the microscope to establish what one piece, uh, one unit on our eyepiece graticule um, actually uh, actually is worth. So, an, a, a stage micrometer is, like I said, essentially a, a ruler, and just like your plastic ruler, which has smaller units, maybe millimeters and centimeters, we've got the same thing here. So, your plastic ruler, probably, you know, the regular kind of school ruler, um, probably has millimetres, and 10 of those is a centimetre, and then the whole ruler is probably at least 10 centimetres long. We've kind of got the same thing here. If a stage micrometer is labelled 0 0.01, then the smallest unit, these tiny units here, is 0 0.01 millimetres. Uh, 10 of those, so to the next biggest line, is 1 millimetre, and the whole thing is 10 millimeters or a centimeter. So really, when you look at this, you've got three factors there. Um, just like maybe on your plastic ruler, you've got millimeters, groups of 10 centimeters or, or 10 millimeters, a centimeter, um, and then the whole thing is probably at least 10 centimeters. So same same sort of deal here. The the unit that it's labeled is always the smallest unit. So 0.1 mil, 10 of those from one of the big lines to the next big line is 1 mil and the whole thing 10 mil. So if a stage micrometer is labeled 0.01, that means the smallest unit is 0.01, the next size up, well 10 of those from the big line to the big line, all right, will be 0.1 millimeters, and the whole thing will be one millimeter. So always going up in tens. Now these lines, just don't get, just don't be confused or be careful when you're measuring things under the microscope. These uh, lines that are a little bit shorter are kind of the halfway mark. And just like on your ruler, you've got these on, on most plastic rulers too. At 5 mils, there's a slightly shorter line that, that comes halfway up. just makes counting them a little bit easier. Okay. Now, another simple way, um, even if the, the, the slide wasn't labelled, if the stage micrometer wasn't labelled, you can just hold it up to the light and have a look at it. Um, and if the whole thing looks roughly a centimetre, you know you've got one of these, a 0.1. So the whole thing is 10 mils. Uh, big line to big line is 1 mil, and the smallest unit is 0.1. All right, if the whole thing appears to be a millimeter, so you can barely see it, then that means that it, probably the whole thing is a millimeter, and from one of the big lines to the next big line will be 0.1 millimeters, and the tiniest units will be 0 0.01. Cool. All right, so to do our calibration, we take the stage micrometer, and we put it on the stage of the microscope, and we put the microscope at the magnification at which we, we want to measure our cells. So where we can actually see the cells or whatever else it is we're trying to measure. And what we need to do is we need to find a point on the eyepiece and we need to line it up with the stage micrometer. We need to find a point where the lines match up. 
So in this example, I've matched up 0 and 0, and I go along to 9 on my eyepiece, and there, to me, it looks like that's probably the best position where the lines really sort of start to match up with each other. So that means 9 of my eyepiece radical units are equivalent to this distance. Well, what is this distance on the stage micrometer? Well, this stage micrometer, in this example, it says here in the box, is labelled 0.01. So that's the smallest unit. That means from one of the big lines to the next biggest line is going to be 0.1. So 10 times as much as 10 of those small units. So we've got 0.1 would be 1. Uh, 1, sort of from one line to the, to the next biggest. We've got 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.6. So it's 0 0.6 millimetres. So that means 9 eyepiece radical units are equivalent to 0 0.6 millimetres. But we don't want to know what 9 eyepiece radical units are, you know, what distance that is. It's much, it's much better for us if we can figure out what one eyepiece unit is, is what distance that is. Now we could read it off here, and I can see that straight away, it's 5, 6 and a bit. But figuring out this, this bit, it's sort of between 6 and 7, getting that accurately is a bit difficult. So what we're going to do is use these numbers. So if 0.6 millimetres is 9 eyepiece radical units, well if we divide the 0.6 by 9, then we should get the distance of 1 eyepiece radical unit. So we take the stage micrometer, all right, which is uh, uh, in this case 0.6 millimetres, divided by the eyepiece radical units, gives us the distance of 1 eyepiece radical unit. So this is, guys, 0.6 millimetres was, was 9 units. Uh, if we divide it by 9, 0.067 millimetres, well, that is the, the distance of, of one unit. And we can, we can see that, we, that, that kind of fits. So one eyepiece unit, if I look down here, is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is the slightly, slightly longer line. 6, and oh, yep, it's just past 6, so 6 and a bit. So that's right. So one eyepiece radical unit actually represents 0 0.067 millimetres in this example. Cool, now we can actually use that to measure something. So if we get some cells under the microscope and we line them up with our eyepiece, we can actually take measurements now. So for these cells, measuring the size of the nucleus, I might want to take a couple and take the average. So I did these, and, and for this cell, in this example, I'd say it's pretty much exactly one eyepiece unit. So from 0 to 1 um, is the distance across the nucleus. Now if you're asked to measure things, normally you would take the, the longest dimension, the longest, you know. Just like if someone said, how big are you? You would say, well, I'm, you know, 186 centimetres. You'd give them your height rather than how wide you are. Um, so you give them the, the longest dimension. Unless you're asked, of course, to do the width or the diameter or something like that. Um, so in this case, um, uh, each nucleus is, is approximately one eyepiece unit, which makes our life really easy. One eyepiece unit was 0 0.067 millimetres. So that means the nucleus is about 0 0.067 millimetres. The whole length of the cell, while well, using this, this IP scale, I measured the length of the only, the only complete cell in the picture is this one here. And I measured the length across that to be about 12 and a half eyepiece units. So using the scale up the top here. So 12 and a half times 0 0.067 millimetres, that was the, what, one eyepiece unit was, you know, the distance of one eyepiece unit, gives us 0.83 millimetres. So these onion cells apparently are 0 0.83 millimetres long. And that kind of fits, you know, it's less than a millimetre, so barely visible, but plant cells are quite big, so that's, that's not an unrealistic figure. They're probably actually a little bit smaller, and that's probably just a flaw in the example. Um, but it's sort of within reason, you know, if you start to get values of 10 millimetres, well just ask yourself, you know, is, is this cell actually a centimetre? No, you can't, you know, if it was a centimetre you'd be able to see them um, much more clearly with the naked eye. Or if you're getting answers that are 0 0.000, you know, millimetres, just, just ask yourself, is it a realistic value? So cool, so that's how you do it. Um, basically we, we chuck a ruler, a stage micrometer, under the microscope. Um, to calibrate, to, to measure the distance of, of say, 8, 9, 10 eyepiece radical units, wherever the, or it might even be 8.5 or 9.3, whatever, wherever the lines match up. And we, we divide um, that distance by the number of eyepiece radical units to find out what one eyepiece radical unit is worth. And then we can take measurements 
um, and you know, say work out that a cell is a certain number of IP squareable units long, and just times that by by the value we found out. So I hope that helps. It is a little bit complicated, um, but it's actually a pretty cool technique, and I, I find it you know it's, it's a pretty cool idea that you can use this to actually get accurate measurements of of cells and things that you're looking at under the microscope. Cool.